hello guys welcome back to this channel if you are new here please hit the subscribe button if you are coming if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys for watching this video so today i'm going to take you around the Uru park and i'm going to show you the sights and sounds of the Uru park from the escapades eyes so i hope you enjoy like subscribe and if you like this type of videos please don't forget to share it So this is the famous dais where all the political rallies are held and where people come and relax in the in this sun of Nairobi. As you can see there are quite a number of people. So this is the famous Uhuru Park. guys and i can't come to uhuru park and i don't show you the this small hey i just like the view the view out here is normally so nice is it a water park or something yeah can't come here and i don't show you the water park it's nice nice ambience overlooking the skyline of Nairobi looks good looks really good so looks very good guys just near the campaign square around 1 1 p.m. that's why you can see quite a number of people out here relaxing because it's the only maybe the only place you can relax in Nairobi without so much noise and hustle and bustle of Nairobi so yeah so guys as you can see it's where all the political areas most of them end up coming it's quite a big place. Let me give you a 360 angle of how it looks. Looks like that. The Kenyan flag. this type of content if you want me to do this type of content more often please subscribe like like 
like this video enjoy So guys, you pay for your boat light over there. I think it's around 500 shillings or 300. Either 500 or 300. Not quite sure. But it's worth. It's worth. I think it's a 5 minutes boat light or 10 minutes. For 300 or 500. One of the two. I'm not quite sure. Let's go and see if we'll see the price tag. Over there, Savo. Let's go and see. So, Kenya is beautiful, Nairobi is awesome. This is the capital of Nairobi, just a few minutes or a few meters from Nairobi town. So, yeah, I'm giving you a first hand walkthrough in Uhuru Park with the escapades. Please remember to subscribe, like my content and share. Did you see the kabut? Thirty minutes right. So it's three hundred for thirty minutes. So per minute. So for every ten minutes, a hundred bob, which is quite fair. It's quite fair, considering you are riding for thirty minutes. That's quite fair. So, guys, here are also the family section where you can bring your children to swing. There are quite a number of swings, people selling sweets, biscuits. Yeah. So, whenever you get time, always come over on a weekend, on a weekday. It's never that too bad, it's never that serious sometimes. Yeah. So guys, I'm going 
will show you one or two monuments that are located here in Uhuru Park, celebrating Wangari Maathai, celebrating our freedom fighters, and people like that. So, enjoy. Here is one of the monuments. Celebrating our freedom fighters from back in the day. So as you can see, there you go. It shows our history, which we are supposed to always appreciate, as we acknowledge from where we have come from and where we are headed. So, yeah, it's quite big. It's quite big. It's quite big. It's quite a big money. Swahili, you can be able to read. So, there you go. It's good. So, that's good. I know you are wondering why this pillar has three main has three main the main reason it has three pillars it signifies the the virtues we have as a country which are love peace and unity and I'm going to show you why Another column up here, we're going to see what it signifies. What it signifies, it's a three column. This one inside here, it signifies love. Then, then the last one here signifies peace guys i know you do not know why there are three pillars inside here 
basically signify the three virtues of a good country which are peace, love and unity. So guys, whenever you get time, please come check out these pillars and take a photo. Enjoy, subscribe, like, share. And thank you for watching the escapades. I think you are ready with one more monument I'm going to show you. Then I'll be heading out. Until next time. So for our last monument for today, I'm going to show you. I've never known what it means, but if it's if it's here in Uhuru Park, it means it is, it is important. So let me just show you guys what it is. This is the last monument I'm going to show you today. Also located here in Uhuru Park. Yeah, I'm going to give you a 360 look at it. Can just see here. Pa Pastori in Itie Primo Cam. I don't know. I think it's more of Kadrek. Not quite sure. But there, you know, people are destroying it. So this is a 360 degree view of this pyramid it's quite big for its size it's quite big it's quite big for its size so yeah this is it I think it has the some different lightings here. Yeah, so you can also see this one here. It's on this spec the Holy Father Pope John the Second celebrated Holy Mass on the first pastoral visit to Kenya in seventh May nineteen eighty. Here again the Positive offered the mass of stereo or this guys so many so many so, thank you guys for coming with me through that small vlog of Uhuru High Uhuru, Uhuru Park and a bit of Upper Hill so if you like this type of videos please just comment down in the comment section if you want me to do such kind of videos again and uh, until next time guys, thank you, stay safe, stay happy, and enjoy. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, thank you guys, bye.